Okay. Hello, my name is Ed Frawley. My wife and I own Learberg. This is another question and answer that came to our website, learberg.com, through the Ask Cindy portal. We get questions every single day. We try and pick the good ones and do these little videos on them because I think it helps a lot of people. So this one is about uh, some people that got a 15-month-old male German Shepherd that's starting to be, starting to show signs of aggression. And first I'll read it and then we'll talk about it. Hello, I've recently rescued a German Shepherd. He's a male and approximately 15 months old. I've had this dog for two months and we're bonding fine and, is, and he is responding well to marker training. However, he becomes aggressive when approached during feeding and this morning he growled at me after being put in his dog crate. At least she's feeding him in a crate, that's a good thing. He had not finished his food, unusual, and crated himself. He usually does this once he finishes meal. So maybe he wasn't being fed in the dog crate. When I went to pet him while he was in the crate and invite him back out to finish his food, so he wasn't being fed in the dog crate, he snarled at me and showed his teeth. Not good. He sometimes becomes aggressive when chewing on his bone, but this is less frequent and less intent as time goes on. I want to stop this behavior immediately before it becomes any worse. What do you suggest? Good questions. And really it comes down to managing this dog differently. A dog like that that you bring into your home Number one, the dog should be fed in a dog crate, period. When we feed our dogs, we get the food out, they know it's food time, they run, we have a room in the basement where our, that's our dog food room, but it's also where we have our furnace and everything else. And they know it's food time, we open up the door of the crate, tell them to get in the crate, put the food bowl in, close the door and leave them in there. We don't interrupt them during, during feeding, we don't pet them during food time, we don't try and stick our food, our hand in the food bowl while they're eating. It's really a foolish thing to do. It just destroys a relationship you have with your dog because they think you're going to take it away. You know, it's an old wives' tale, and I've said this in past Q and A's. It's a terrible, stupid, old wives' tale. You don't put, give the dog a bowl of food and then take it away. And I've said this before. How would you feel at Thanksgiving or Christmas, and you have a nice plate of food, turkey, mashed potatoes, it's, oh man, it's really cool. You're hungry, you haven't eaten breakfast, and you take about three or four bites, and somebody comes up and takes your food plate away, and that's the end of it. Would you be on the fight? Probably. So how can you blame a dog for doing that? And to stick your food in, your hand in a food bowl, or to pet the dog while it's eating to show them how much you love them, Dumb idea, makes no sense. But unfortunately, a lot of people that are not dog trainers have an opinion on that's what you should do, and it's the wrong opinion. You shouldn't do it. So there's, there are other ways to approach this besides just putting the whole food bowl in the crate. You can take your food bowl on a counter and you can take a piece of food. If you're feeding high value food rewards, or high value food, we feed an all natural diet. It looks like hamburger, really, and is not that much more expensive than feeding kibble, but I'm not trying to tell anybody what they should or should not feed their dog. But if your dog is hungry, feed him by hand. Put, put a little bit of food in the palm of your hand, let him take it off that. Put another piece of food in the hand, let them take it on that. Let them take all the food that they get off your hand. You know, maybe you transition from feeding them by hand to taking the food bowl and putting it in the dog crate. And then when they're done, they've already been used to, like, leave a little food out for this. Put them in the dog crate and they're all, they eat it all. Open up the dog food, hold the food out that you've saved. Either don't stick your hand in the crate, hold it out here and say, here, you want this, Vito? Or... Fido, look at this, toss it over there. Let him come out and go get it. You close the crate, leave the food bowl in the crate, 
Get it later when the dog's not around. You have just eliminated a fight. There's an old story about trying to deal with dog fights. And that is, don't pick a fight that you might lose. And if you do pick a dog fight, make sure that you assume that that dog is 100% on his game. In other words, don't think, oh, he's never going to do anything. No, he's not that tough. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, don't think like that. It's a bad deal. It's a bad idea. So it's a better idea to just prevent it in the very beginning. You know, if you think you have a dog that is going to be aggressive, keep a slip lead on him when he's in the house and keep a leash on him so you have control over the dog 100% of the time. One thing we don't do is we don't give dogs free access to their food all the time. That too is a bad idea. When we feed our dogs, they know we're gonna put the dog food in there, they have 15 minutes to eat it. If they don't eat it, they come out, we pick the food up, we put it in the fridge, and that's how they'll get it that night. We feed our dogs twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening. But they know they only get 15 minutes to eat it. Free feeding just creates problems with the dogs. It's just not worth it. You get a healthier dog, you eliminate behavioral problems between you and your dog. If he's thinking about guarding his food bowl because he's thinking that you're gonna take it away when it's sitting there. And then this customer also mentioned how the dog can get aggressive around bones. That's a good, there's an easy solution to that. Don't give this dog bones. It doesn't have to have bones. If you have a dog that is guardy around his toys, don't give him toys. You know, dogs don't need to have, dogs that are guardy around toys don't need to have toys. Dogs don't need to have bones. So that comes under the category of preventing a problem before the problem that shows its ugly head. You know, just don't do it. And maybe down the road, and when I mean down the road, six months or so from now, after the dog has learned the rules of how you expect him to live in your house and how you feed him and the rules around that, you know, maybe you can try it in an X-Pen, uh, in a dog crate, but you don't reach in and get it. You don't go into the dog pen to get it out. You bring the dog out away from the X-Pen, close the door, bring the dog out of the crate, close the door, and then tell the dog, hey, you wanna go outside? Here, gotta get your leash on, let's go. And then later on, take the bowl, take the, the bone, take the toy out of the X-Pen, out of the dog crate. That's the way to manage a dog safely. But the bottom line is resource guarding can be a long-term problem with some dogs. You may not be able to fix it. It may be there for the rest of that dog's life. But don't test it all the time by thinking, okay, he's okay now. I'm gonna reach in and grab that bowl while he's eating, or I'm gonna go reach in and grab that bowl because he's ate it all, and the bowl's still sitting there. Why do that? That comes under the category of don't pick a fight unless you want to lose. And it's just going to hurt your relationship with your dog. In the end, what we want is a good relationship with our dog. We want to be fair with the dog. We want the dog to know that we're being fair with him. And if we can do that, we're going to have a good relationship with the dog. But don't try and overthink this thing. Think in terms of management. Think in terms of good common sense. It's not an issue of being a pack leader. That's BS. If you want to play some games with your dog on building a little bit of this relationship and a little bit of impulse control, learn what impulse control is. Use it in your obedience. Use it where you ask the dog to sit and wait and wait and wait. Yes, give him a piece of food. Teach impulse control to your dog. Go on Learberg.com. I think we have some free videos on there. We have 1,500 free videos, but we have some videos on there on free that don't cost anything on uh, impulse control. There's 1,500 free videos. Use the search engine and you'll find it.